this Motion Monday using the oscilloscope. So now you're moving your axis, but really need to know more about the details of the move, such as max current, move time, and following error. How do you get this information? Easy. Use the oscilloscope on the drive. First, we choose the scope icon to open the oscilloscope. In our case, we have channel 1 set to monitor the actual current the drive uses. Our trigger is set up for channel 1. Let's see what we get if we click record and trigger our move. After a moment, the current plot is displayed. Then another plot. But why? We stop trace, then choose single trace. We then click record and trigger our move again. Now that we recorded a single trace, our plot will remain in the display until we record another trace. Let's trigger off our Go input. First, we set up channel 4 to show this input. Then, we modify our trigger to channel 4 and choose Input Level High. Now we click Record and see that we are waiting for our trigger. We press the trigger and the data is recorded, then read from the amplifier, then displayed. If we do this a second time, we can now see that our plot remains in the same position. Now, let's also plot our motor position as channel 2. We record, trigger another move, and get our new plot. Then we add following error to the plot on channel 3. And again, we record, trigger another move, and get a plot. We see that we are not capturing the whole move, so we increase the trace time. And now our plot contains our entire move. Let's look at some of the measurements of our move. We click Show Cursors and now have two vertical red lines. We can drag these lines left and right to get specific data at one point or the range of data between the two lines. For example, we move the line to the beginning and end of the move and can see the move was just over 3 seconds. We can move the left over and see the channel 1, 2, and 3 values that cross the line. We can also zoom in on a plot by left clicking and dragging a box around an area of interest. This can be done repeatedly. But keep in mind that the sample rate of the plot may limit how far you can practically zoom. To zoom back out, simply left double click. These are the basics for using the oscilloscope, a very useful way to see the details of any move, even if the drive is being controlled by an external motion controller. I hope you found this useful for your application, and thanks for watching.